ever wondered how a three-phase, three-wire system is converted into a three-phase, four-wire system? Welcome back to Electrology, where we make the world of electricity an open book. Today, we are diving deep into the heart of electrical systems to uncover the secret workings of the grounding transformer. This unsung hero of the electrical world is instrumental in turning a three-phase, three-wire system into a three-phase, four-wire system. It's like a magician creating a neutral point on a three-phase, three-wire system, giving it an extra wire, and voila, you have a four-wire system. Now, you might be thinking, what is the structure of a grounding transformer? Well, let's dive into that. A grounding transformer is a type of core transformer and it's constructed with three limbs. The design is quite similar to that of a power transformer. Now, here's the interesting part. Each limb of the transformer has two identical windings, but they're wound differentially. That means the directions of current in the two windings on each limb are opposite to each other. This might seem a bit complex, but it's what makes this transformer unique and effective. Under normal operating conditions, the total flux in each limb is minimal, almost negligible. As a result, the transformer draws a very small magnetizing current. This characteristic is a testament to its efficiency. This unique structure allows the grounding transformer to function efficiently and safely. But how exactly does a grounding transformer work, you might ask? Well, it's all about balance and distribution. Imagine a single phase load connected between one line and neutral. The load current, I, then divides into three equal currents in each winding. This division of current keeps the neutral point fixed, maintaining balance in the system. It's like a well-choreographed dance, where each dancer knows their part and performs in sync to create a harmonious performance. Now, consider the distribution of single-phase loads. These are spread out as evenly as possible between the three phases and neutral. This distribution ensures that the unbalanced load current, I, remains relatively small. Think of it as sharing a large pizza among friends. You divide it equally to ensure everyone gets a fair share, right? The same principle applies here. By evenly distributing the loads, the grounding transformer reduces unbalance, maintaining the integrity of the electrical system. So, through this mechanism, the grounding transformer ensures a balanced four-wire system. Safety is paramount in electrical systems. How does the grounding transformer ensure this? Well, the grounding transformer has a relatively low impedance, which means that when a line-to-earth fault occurs, the fault current can be quite high. This could potentially result in dangerous situations. To limit the magnitude of this fault current, we insert a resistance, known as Neutral Grounding Resistor, or NGR, in the neutral circuit. This helps to maintain a safe level of current flowing through the system even during faults. To dive deeper into this crucial aspect, make sure to check out our previous video dedicated to Neutral Grounding Resistance, NGR. The link is conveniently placed in the description below. Under normal conditions, the grounding transformer experiences iron losses. These are energy losses in the transformer's magnetic core. However, during a fault, the high fault current can also result in copper losses in the transformer's windings. But don't worry, as these copper losses occur only for a short interval, typically between 30 to 60 seconds during the fault condition. Understanding the grounding transformer is crucial for anyone interested in electrical systems. It's a small component with a significant impact, ensuring our electrical systems remain balanced and safe. And there you have it. The grounding transformer, a critical component in electrical systems, ensuring balance, stability and safety. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.